What's the most important question to ask if you have a pain or a problem that's not getting better? Here it is. What's going on between my brain and the body part? See, your body has an absolutely amazing ability to heal itself. If you get a cut, you break a bone, you get sick, your body fixes itself. And it's the same if you have a problem in your shoulder or your arm, your hip or your knee or your back or your neck. As soon as that problem happens, your brain is going to try to fix that problem. But the only way that it can fix your problems is it has to get millions of messages a second through these nerves that come up through the spine. And then it has to be able to send clear messages out through these nerves. And so if you end up with a problem spot in your spine, it can make it so that your brain doesn't get messages through these nerves as clearly it can't control the healing. And so let's take a look at a quick example. So when my right hand superwoman Sherry first came in to see me as a patient, this is about seven years ago before she was an employee, she was dealing with neck pain, problems down both arms, so shoulder pain and hand numbness in both arms, and then she also had an ongoing knee problem. Now if we look at the nerves that control the arms, we see that they all come out in the lower neck area. So Sherry came in and we did this exam. I took her through ranges of motion. I pushed on each bone in the spine and I felt for stiffness and she told me if they just felt normal or they hurt more than they should. And we definitely found that the lower neck was more stiff and tender than it should be. So we got some x-rays taken and I want you to look at what we found. Here's a normal neck. The spaces between the bones are all the same and the bones have rounded corners. Here's Sherry's neck. So down in the lower neck, we can see that the spaces are shorter and then there's these big bone spurs. Those are arthritic or degenerative changes. They're the results of a car accident when she was 18. And once we see that, we understand that that area would be more likely to act like a bonk on the forehead with swelling. And that swelling is what would push on the nerves and make it so that the brain can't communicate clearly with the arms. Now I mentioned her knee problem. The knee is a long ways from the lower neck. But remember, every message to control the knee has to make it through that lower neck area. And so if this is acting like a bottleneck, the brain can't control the knee properly. So ultimately, we started working on Sherry's lower neck. We got it working so much better. And as a result, her arm symptoms and the knee have both improved drastically. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't have any major neck or back pain, so my nerves are fine, right? Well, not necessarily. I want you to think what happens if you sit on your leg for too long. It gets numb, the muscles get weak, but you don't necessarily feel pain. And so you can have a nerve being pinched or affected by swelling and you don't necessarily know it. That's why we have to recommend a thorough workup. So I'd listen to you about what's going on, I'd take you through ranges of motion, I'd push on each bone in the spine and I'd feel for stiffness and you'll tell me if they hurt more than they should. We get some x-rays taken and after that we'll know if there are problem spots in your spine that are keeping your brain from being able to talk to your body. So I'm Dr. David Crozy from Compass Chiropractic and I invite you to give us a call, get a time for that thorough workup. I'd be thrilled to be the one that answers the question of what's going on between your brain and whatever body part isn't healing like it's supposed to.